Welcome back to Life at a Startup. Today, we have our first guest. What's up? Our first guest at Life at a Startup, one of my best friends, Christian, has flown into town for his startup, uh, doing videography business um, for different people, weddings, influencers, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll definitely link down to some of his work, but that's not why we're here. We're here to talk about some very important things, and that's things that we learned at our startups, right? I currently work at a real estate startup. Um, we do other things as well, but the real estate startup takes up 80 to 90% of my time, which is great. Um, and then we have Christian here that has jumped full steam ahead into the world of just, what do you do? Content creation, uh, videography. Um, I don't really, I don't love saying videography because I feel like there's a big difference between videography and cinematography. Sure. I like to call myself a cinematographer or a filmmaker because okay. I like to create the story, but um, yeah, that's kind of my main thing right now. A little bit of photography dabbled in there. Cool. Mm -hmm. I like it. So now you have an idea of what I do and what Christian does and why he's qualified to be on Life at a Startup. This is a sacred space. We don't bring very many guests on here. So Christian is one of those few individuals that is living the life at a startup. So without further ado, let's jump into the topic that I have today. So something that Alex Ramosi actually talks about that Christian and I talked a little bit about at dinner uh, we did, we're going to get into much more. So if you guys want to see more of Christian, consider subscribing. We're going to have a whole podcast this weekend. It's going to be great. Exciting. Anyways, topic at hand here is the power of changing zip codes. Mm -hmm. Now, in my life, every time I've changed my zip code, it has been a level up in terms of getting a higher paying job or advancing a little bit further in my career. I did it when I moved out of my parents' house, which was the single most important decision I made for my professional career. I love you, mom and dad. And you guys are still the best parents in the world. But moving helps me really kind of learn for myself like, oh, there really are bills. Oh, I do need a budget. I do need to start making more money. Oh, I, what do I do with my free time, right? So it, it helps matures me, you fast, for it, sure. Very quick. Yeah. And so it helped me could become more accountable. From there, I moved to a different house where I started going all in on YouTube. Um, so that was sick. And then from there, I got the job offer to go to California. And every time I move zip codes, my pay increased and my opportunities got bigger and better. And this goes as far back as high school. Every time I changed high schools, things got better and better for me. Mm -hmm. So I actually changed high schools a fair amount with Christian. So Christian has seen me from what? We were friends in seventh grade? Yeah. Seventh grade. Um, we switched all, high schools together. All the way to here. Yeah. So Christian, how has changing zip codes impacted you? Like take us through your journey and like when you've changed zip codes and what that has meant for you. Um, I mean, my first, I guess, like main zip code change, I guess, would have been going to college. Okay. Um, college, obviously, I, I didn't get like a pay increase going to college, but you know, you do, you mature a lot there. You get to experience, experience different things, experiment with different things. And, you know, you, you mature like really fast. And so, you know, grateful for college, but I eventually did drop out and, um, I don't know if I get into the whole traveling thing but that was a whole few few zip code changes that was a there couple, yeah traveled for a little bit um but okay well that did you but you started recording that right i did yeah and so that gave you a different type of opportunity you started creating content mm -hmm. so it gave you like it just kind of opened your world to content creation really. yeah because before that you were just what were you doing with content not really anything it was like travel so videos it forced you to create content yeah. Some of the best YouTube videos that will never be seen again. <laughs> <laughs> They're gone forever. <laughs> deleted those. I learned that tonight. Those are deleted. So. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. So then <laughs> after you did your world tour, where did, what happened? Um, yeah. Moved back home, back to the same zip code and kind of felt like I was at like a standstill for a little bit. Like it, it, it was still a pay increase coming home. I started, you know, a career here. Um, but, you know, at some point I felt like I was at a standstill with my life and uh, needed a new opportunity and decided to move zip codes again. And that was also another pay increase. So got out of Arizona for a little bit, went to St. George, Utah, worked out there. Good. Yeah. And then from there? From there. Um, you changed zip codes again. I did. I changed zip codes again, came back to Arizona to, you know, start what I'm doing now. I did. Get that. Shut up, Siri. Come on, Siri. Freaking Siri. Yeah, move back to Arizona to do what I'm doing now. Stop. Siri. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> I guess uh, I've never really thought about it as like a startup, like something that I'm. Dude, you're in the I thick of it. Startup right now. You're in a startup, bro. I don't know why. In my head, a startup is like 
like a tech startup. Like I immediately go no, tech. Dude, I'm like, oh, I started an app or something. You not only I didn't do that. like I have the like I have a supporting crew. Like I have a CEO to depend on. Like they can help me answer questions, and I have like other employees that can help me. Like I have a whole supporting cast. It's you yourself and you. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's just you. No, yeah, that makes sense. So, um, I mean, give let's. So we're gonna dive more into this, but. I know, it's like, I don't know how much to say here if the, we're going to do well, a podcast. Well, you know what? We're going to give the people what they want, right? We're not going to hold anything back. <laughs> okay. What has been the most What has been the most impactful piece of advice that you've taken and applied to your startup of, like, your agency? Hmm. Or, or, hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what you can come up with. What's been, like, the most impactful thing that somebody told you that you implemented into your startup? Probably, like, probably mostly based around, like, sales and, like, being confident in my own craft. I feel like that's something that I've struggled with in the past. It's, like, I'm, I'm kind of a perfectionist with my videos, and I feel like they're never good enough for me, even though, like, I'll show them to other people, and they're like, oh, my God, that's great. And I'm like, yeah, but I could have done this, this, and this better. Um, so it's kind of hard when you have that mindset of your own videos to then try to sell that to yeah. someone to sell that to a business like oh I can make you great videos but I can't even confidently say that these videos are going to be good so I feel like um, yeah just being confident in your craft and that'll you know so how have you got how have you gotten over that fear Um, I still I still struggle with it a little bit definitely not as much as I used to but um, I don't know I just I, I take more more pride in my work for sure I think you know what I do is is good and I do see results and I see businesses getting results out of it and that's comforting to me I love getting like reactions and like asking clients for reaction videos that's really nice and um, I just feel like I'm getting like you know the reassurance I need from good clients and things like that I mean people must believe you and believe in you enough to have you come video at their wedding here in California Arizona to California we got your stuff in here in the back I can tell you people believe in your work so you're doing good work you're on the right path and I mean, you're, you're killing it, dude. Your videos are great. And Thanks, man. Can't Appreciate wait to see what's going on. So, if you guys want to see Christian, if people want to follow you on social media, where do they follow you? Um, I mean, I have two accounts, like my, my personal. Whatever Instagram. one you want. Probably just my personal. I'm, I'm going to start posting more on there. All right. Um, Finally. So just. I cannot convince this guy to <laughs> post enough. Jeez. I know. It's funny that like my my job is literally like marketing other people. But I'm sh- so bad at marketing myself. Can't, I, 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 I do not know. post for myself. Uh, every I'm time like, I call him, I'm like, dude, start posting somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so where do people follow you? Instagram at christian.n.jimenez. All right, yeah. you heard the man. Go follow him there. Guys, thank you so much. We don't always have guests, so go show him some love. Follow him on Instagram. Tell him what you think down in the comments. Thank you guys for all your support. I read your guys' comments. They mean a lot. Um, But thank you guys for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow night. Bye.